Hi there, this is Mark McRae and today I want to talk to you about imposter syndrome. And it's a, it's a kind of phrase that I've heard kicked around about over the years, but in particularly over the last few months in my network. And I was talking to somebody recently who felt they were suffering from imposter syndrome. I never felt imposter syndrome. <laughs> One of the reasons is, and you know, maybe it's because uh, uh, you know, I came up the hard way in every business I've ever owned. I've labored at it, I've understood it, I've put in the hours. And by the time it was successful, I knew it, but I'd also worked harder in that business than any other member of staff, any other team member, anybody involved with that. I knew that thing. And I think that uh, anybody who does feel like they have imposter syndrome should get rid of that neg negativity, that negative talk, because it doesn't matter what level of entrepreneur you're at, you've got to realize that you're doing something that other people won't or can't do. So if you have a business, particularly a new business where you're just starting off and the family wants to go out for the weekend, you give up those weekends in the beginning. Maybe relatives come around. You have to give that up. You have to, you know, let them know that you are on a mission and you're trying to make something happen and you'll have time with them at some stage. But right now, you're working hard to make that work. You have given something up. When you don't feel well as an entrepreneur, you still got to turn up. You still got to make things happen. Where your other family members and friends and people who you know and your team, they will take a day off because they don't feel well. You don't have that luxury. You have to be there. You know, and I have a theory that entrepreneurs just don't get sick. They can't afford to. They have to get up and make stuff happen. And, you know, if you've gone through any of those things where you've given things up, you have sacrificed, and maybe you've, you've reaped more rewards than you think that you deserve, that's okay. That's, you should not, you know, feel like any kind of imposter syndrome because you're, you're and entrepreneurs, I believe, make the world work. They harness the resources. They make things happen. It's them that keeps the economy and the markets moving. And that deserves to be acknowledged. And entrepreneurs shouldn't punish themselves. I'm not sure who needs to hear that today, but if you like these tips, uh, give me a like or a comment and uh, follow me on YouTube. Thanks for listening.